A question of character. There is a void in which an eternal battle is being fought between master chefs and an insatiably Assyrian boy, Charles Chuck, also known as Charlie Chuck. Food fight. Charlie Chuck is a warrior, a boy of resource. This is a tomato, but this is not a tomato. It is a weapon. Become red. Charlie Chuck fights to satisfy his audacious appetite, but not towards the watermelons. The peas, the bananas in which he has weaponized. But for iced cream, it seductively drips, wet with a sugary goodness. Charlie Chuck wants this goodness. Charlie Chuck will do anything for it, except saying, yes, chef, eat peas. Zorba, chef Zorba is slammed with the powerful peas launched across the void. The power of peas. Oscar, Angelo, Jacques, Zorba. Charlie Chuck constantly risks his safety. He has invaded the chef's arena. They must punish him through food. The very thing he eats. But it is not hunger that drives Charles. It is instead ice cream domination. The chefs transport from under holes. Emotionless. Ready. Discerning. Reappearing. It is a war of consistency. Fight until you munch Charlie. Then munch again. Food fight. Charlie Chunk pumps his white trousers. Magnificent slacks, creased to perfection. Charlie Chuck cares not of foot shoes. He fights with fully nude toes. Evade the banana. Strike your comrade. Fear my tomato. tomato. The odds are against Charlie Chuck. However, he is able to utilize his overdeveloped cranium to his advantage. Possessing a full 360 degree field view of the action and of his aggressors. His speed intensifies, so does his attacking skill. Angelo, watch your crossfire. Oh God! Food fight. There is only one thing that saddens Charlie Chuck. Failure. He shall be slathered with food, bombarded with all of the arena's treats. The chefs giggle. Charlie must avoid the underhauls, as he may never return because he's not a chef. Charlie Chuck must obtain the cone, and when he does, these chefs witness the true beast nature of Charles. They run in terror. Charlie Chuck's head swells, enlarging, growing to an immense size, his jaw unlatching to an inhuman form. Charlie Chuck devours the helpless cone. Food fight! fight. Its flavor dripping as veritable tears. Charles' tongue unfurls as a crimson dragon. Barely tasting the flavor, he crushes with his massive mouth. This time, the food does not fight. Food submit. submit. Power. Excellent. One blow from the mighty Charles sends the presumptuous chef flying across the void, likely thinking that a child could never possess this power. But if that's the case, why are there four of you? Defense. Low. Charlie Chuck must never be touched, but he also must must never be touched by food, as his long sleeve blue shirt and pants protect nothing. In fact, these chefs hate his outfit. You look better in banana. Eat watermelon. Tomato. Pie. Agility. Excellent. Charlie Chuck moves at amazing speed, but even more amazing speed. And even faster than that. Charlie Chuck moves at ludicrous speed. And he can fire at how many directions? All of them. Grade B. Charlie Chuck fights for child hunger his own, using an excellent throwing technique, launching his weapon in a direct line. And although he can only throw one item at a time, he can pick them up and reload with blazing speed. Take my peas. These chefs have never faced such a foe, but also continue to face him eternally, never ending forever, for a very long time. Food fight! Next episode. You can find him in the club, killing people. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question, question. of oh. character. character.